Whenever you're ready. One, two, three. <laughs> I am happy for all of the students and faculty members yet to come in the decades that will follow. All of those students who will be drawn to study and work uh, here at the Ritchie School, all of the new faculty members that will join us who will pursue their careers and their scholarship here at the Ritchie School. I am happy for all of the beneficiaries of their work, the thousands and thousands, perhaps millions and millions of people who will be touched by the lives of those students yet to come, by the work of those faculty members yet to come. That's what today is about. That's what today is really about. It's about the University of Denver stepping up to its task of serving the public good, of moving the dial forward in a positive way for so many millions of people. As Scott mentioned, this building has many uh, defining physical features, but perhaps the most important one will be what is gonna be found inside. Uh, the building has been designed to include instructional and research facilities centered on specific research themes. So we're not going to organize it by department. We organize it by the research themes and the areas that our faculty and our students focus. Uh, the first floor will be devoted to communal spaces for students and faculty and will feature our machine shop, which is the heart of the engineering program. The second floor will be home to our mechatronic systems group, including the robotics and the unmanned systems teams. On the third floor will be the computing systems groups, including humane games, software engineering, cybersecurity, power and energy systems, computational composite materials, and optics and communications. <clears throat> Our bioengineering teams will occupy the fourth floor, which includes the orthopedics, the biomechanics, the aerosols, biofluids, and cardiovascular teams. And the top floor will be home for the biomedical research labs for the Noble Center for the Study of Aging. I see the Ritchie School as an opportunity. It's an opportunity to have facilities that we need to push our program to its full potential. It's an opportunity for the computer science and engineering school to become the best DU has had in its history. And it's an opportunity to take these new classrooms, new labs, and study areas, reinvigorate ourselves, and thrive. Uh, the programs will spur student learning in innovation, experiential learning, uh, through research and collaboration with Colorado companies and through I interdisciplinary learning. Uh, you know, as an example, what, what was mentioned earlier is the Noble Center has obvious ties to computer science and to other STEM and social science disciplines, uh, as well as to every one of our graduate schools. The contribution to our state's innovation and technology will further fulfill DU's vision as a great private university dedicated to the public good. I would like to say a few words about my father, Daniel Felix Ritchie, who was a mechanical engineer who graduated from North Carolina State 87 years ago and who made an enormous difference in my life. I'll just give you two examples. One is I became a Boy Scout at his suggestion or request, and that really changed my life. As you can probably tell, I in many ways still am one, <laughs> and generally I'm proud of it. Uh, also, uh, when I was in the middle of high school, I told him one day that I was dropping out of high school, that I thought it was boring, useless, worthless, and I was going to do something more worthwhile than that. Uh, fortunately for me, he said, son, we're going to find a school that's challenging and interesting for you, one that we really couldn't afford, but I didn't know that then. <laughs> it was Woodbury Forest School in Virginia. That really opened the world to me, uh, opened and changed me, and I went on to get a scholarship at Harvard and, uh, and did all right since. <laughs> but he's more than just a father and without whom actually I wouldn't be here either. 
He is the kind of a man that I think we can all be proud of, who had integrity, who worked hard, was successful uh, in the middle of the Depression, actually. So I'm proud that we are naming this for my father.